every limit you have is self-imposed. Every limit. The cool thing about it is, every time you push yourself to that, and, and I would encourage beyond that limit, that self-imposed limit, it's a little bit further out. A little bit further out. A little bit further out. That's why I'm so big on setting goals every week and keeping yourself accountable through the week with somebody. But I think there's something important in there about pushing yourself. Especially for those of us that are in sales, you know, there's, I'm, I'm extremely competitive. I'm highly competitive. And within our organization, we have an, we have created an environment where it's very, very, very healthy competition. Um, very, very healthy competition. So um, that's good. But at the end of the day, who are you really competing with? You're competing with yourself. And you have to have the ability to keep pushing yourself harder and harder and harder to perform at higher and higher levels. And that's why we talk about self-awareness so much and kind of understanding where you are in that spectrum. Um, mm -hmm. But regardless, there has to be this idea of where you want to be, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now. Um, if five years from now, 10 years from now, it's running that business that you're now doing on the side, then your actions on a daily basis need to match that versus right. if five to 10 years from now, you still see yourself kind of working that job, but then also having this great side business, but that you still see there being kind of a mix of the two, um, then, then that's important to know. Something, something about reaching the ceiling of your goals is the floor of your next something like, like every time you hit a goal, like, like this week, so three days, 174 policies, most I've ever done. All I want to do is go work three more days and do more than 174 policies. That's it. Uh, that's all I want to do, and that's all I can think about right now. Uh, so it's it's making that that goal, that the thing that you feel is just crazy goal, audacious goal, hitting it, and then creating it to where that feels like the new normal, uh, where that feels like mediocre. You know, get to that point. So how much higher can I go? How much further can I go? How much more can I sell? How many more people can I see? How many more calls can I make? How many this and this and this and that? But all of that has to be done by you. Uh, you have to push yourself. It's a different mindset in looking at your goals to first look at the person you have to become and then figure out the things that you have to do to become that person. Right. Um, because the things that you have to do to become that person may be different than the things that you have to do to achieve that goal. Because sure. it's kind of like they run in parallel, but they're yep. two separate two separate focuses. So, yep. you know, a goal of selling a thousand policies this year, which will generate this much income, there are steps and activities and things that you have to do on a daily basis that play out over months and quarters and over the year to get to that goal. But the person that sells a thousand policies is a completely different person. And the yep. steps that you have to take along the way to become that person are working in parallel with those action items, but it's a whole separate mm -hmm. thing.